I only have 3% on my phone, so I have to go quickly on this vlog. So, I spent the weekend at my house, and I'll be back with my sister probably tomorrow. She, uh, she needs prayers, so that's all I can say. I can't say anything else except that please pay for her health and well-being. Um... What else can I say? So, I... Oof, did they amp it up today? There was so much going on today, but I feel fine. Today, I feel very much with it. I haven't really... As far as I know, I haven't forgotten too much. Like, I still remember that teach, the, edic, the learning in school will take place the same way the acquisition of first and second languages are take place and um, things like that. I, I'm still remembering them. So thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, I tried to do something with my hair. It just, it didn't work out. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and I don't know how much I weigh. Really, I don't. I have one outfit on, and it makes me look humongous. I have another outfit on, then you really can't tell. And I have another, and it's just crazy. So, I don't want to weigh myself. I know my face looks much bigger in the camera, so I'm sure I did gain weight. Uh, the dogs are here with me, if you're snoring. Those, those, are, the, those are the dogs, and... You know, I was thinking that um, if I ever get sewing skills, like enough sewing skills, I would love to open two places. One, one place would be for low-income women and men to go and get outfits made for them, you know, made for them that, that are high quality outfits for interviews and for weddings or whatever and the only thing they would have to pay for is fabric and the fabric would be um if it's donated probably free but if it's not donated then seriously reduced seriously reduced and the other thing i wanted to um think about doing and I know the area but it can't be here in Cleveland because no one likes me but if I could I would do it here in Cleveland in Ohio City open up a small boutique where men and women can go and pick out high end fabrics for um, for couture uh, clothing and we'd make it right there I'm not even sure what couture is, but I think it's like, well, I'm not even sure. So, uh, and no one is going to steal these ideas. We understand if you want to work with low-income people, but you're not going to do exactly what Marissa has planned. If you want to help low-income people by making them close, feel free, but you will not open high-end boutiques to make couture clothes for people. Okay, so now, <clears throat> Marissa is very, very tired of Cleveland. I am. We need to tell all of you in Cleveland who come in contact with her, you're not fooling her. Okay, she understands that most people in the city have a great deal of disdain for her. However, you need to treat her with respect because she is loved and respected around the world. And the only reason she's here in Cleveland is because she's kidnapped. And there, most Clevelanders are going to go to jail or die when Marissa wins. Okay. Yeah. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being, you know, singled out and going to restaurants and have people 
sit around me, talk about disgusting things and, you know, and everyone with their little innuendos and stupid stuff like that, you know, I just, whatever, whatever. You paint me to be some kind of horrible monster, and yet I sit at home and pray, and I showed you when I was uh, living in the basement the kind of things I like to do. Now, I've had trauma, so I haven't really, I mean, I'm getting back to normal, but I did keep drawing. I sewed a little bit, and the things I like to do changed slightly. So, now, I'm getting back to normal. I'm getting back to normal. And I'm not, well, through Jesus. And only if it's Jesus' will, will I be able to withstand all that you are going to throw at me. Because you don't want me to heal or be happy. Ever. So that's fine. And as far as the money's concerned, I trust Jesus. You know, I have plenty of investments that are not in my name, whatever, but I have them and um, I can't access them because I'm blocked by Clevelanders. Cleveland is a great city. Yes, it is. But Clevelanders need to understand you are about to lose. We keep telling you this and you just delay it and delay it and delay it. Understand, Marissa's not here because she loves, she loves the city. Although she does love the city, but that she's not able to enjoy it at all. So. All right. Well, on that note, because I only had 3% and I want to save a little bit, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right. Bye.